Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody, my name is Ilham and welcome to Ambar Ilham channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create an automatic update chart on a Google Sheet and how to update them. We have the three chart type here. The first is the bar chart. The second is we have the pie chart. And the third we have the combo chart. Now we are going to create the bar chart. The first we select the table we want to make the chart and then choose insert and then select the chart. Insert and then select chart. Okay. We can change the title here by choose the right click and then select the title and then select the chart title, change the chart title name. For example, I want to change its names into monthly sales quantity. I want to make the chart title centers. I can check the format and by select center here. We can also add the format data here, the label. You want to add the label by right click and then choose the data label. Before that, I want to insert the added value here by adding insert column between the before the June and then copy June and then add the July and for example, I want to the add the quantity in July 2022 here. And then you can see the July has been added into the chart. Now I want to add the format data series for the data label, select the legend here, then, then select the series, as you can see here, there's a data label, and then you can select the data label, and then you can see the quantity of cells for each month has been added into chart. Now I want to move the chart into the a proper position. Now I'm going to make the pie chart for the second chart here by select the array, table array here and then choose insert and then choose the pie chart. Choose insert and just choose chart. Google Sheet will automatically show the recommended chart as a pie chart. I want to adjust the size first and then I'm going to create the data value here for the label. We can see there's no data label here. We can add the data label by select the right click here and then choose the chart and title and you can see search and by drop down and then you will see the
data level by the minute choose the chart and data styles sorry that I choose one by one because I'm not that advanced in the Google Sheet but I can do that with the Google Sheet you can see there's their values here select the values and then this values will be shown into the pie chart sorry I got a bit blue now I want to add the chart by insert the row between the quartal first and the second quartal and then copy the second quartal and then add the third quartal on the next row you can see the pie chart has been changed wait a minute I want to adjust the quantity make sure the quantity value is right for quarter first is from January until March 2022 and then for the second quarter is from April until June 2022 we assume the quantity for the third quartal is about this quantity I want to add the third quarter and adjust the quantity to make it sense and this is for the third quarter you can see there's before this we have only two slides of the chart the, the pie chart now we have three slides of the pie chart by inserting in row between the table previously now we are going to create the combo chart by select the table array here and then choose insert chart Google Sheet will recommend it the automatically combo chart then you can select the combo chart here you can see the combo chart is shown on this as I show you here line and chart combination now we are the, going to create the percent cumulative as the vertical right axis by select the any table any table in here inside the table click and then change the percent cumulative choose the percent cumulative first then right click the vertical values from left is changed into the right vertical values you can see here select the percent cumulative here is shown at the left axis and then I want to change it into the right vertical axis right axis now we have the percentage cumulative at the right vertical axis and now I'm going to show you the total quantity here for the quantity is 2540 pieces now I'm going to change the maximum quantity for the left vertical values axis is 2540 pieces and the minimum is zero by select the vertical axis this axis and then vertical axis and then define the minimum value at zero and maximum value here at 2540 pieces now we already have the combo chart after this we are going to add the data label here I select the data level and also for the percent cumulative at the data level too you can see the data level here click the data level and then 
you will see the the so label has been added to the chart. Okay. Now I'm going to insert the new chart here, the new, sorry, the new data. As you can see, if we insert the chart, the most bottom and the most of, of the row will still the same. So you can easily add the chart on the Google Sheet by insert rows or column among them or between the table we already made previously. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please write down on the comment below. Inshallah, I will answer it on the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.